Welcome back everybody to your stimulus update for today. And once again, we have overwhelmingly good news. We're going to talk about Nancy Pelosi's response to the Problem Solvers Caucus bill that they proposed in the House, that $1.5 to $2 trillion bill. A lot of people saying Nancy Pelosi's against it. Technically she is, but it's the House chairs that gave the statement. I'm going to take a look at that and tell you what it means. And then we had more good news come out today from Donald Trump and Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi and Chuck Schumer going to share all that with you after this. Once again, welcome back to your stimulus update for today, Wednesday, September 16th. Let's start things off by talking about the Problem Solvers Caucus new bill that they proposed, which is $1.5 to around $2 trillion, depending on how everything works out. Looks like a phenomenal looking bill, a bipartisan, looks like a lot of people can agree on it and it can get through. A lot of people upset. They think Nancy Pelosi's against it. Now, technically she is, but she didn't actually issue her own statement. The statement we got was from the House chairs. Here, take a look at this. This is the statement everyone's talking about. And notice there at the top, the individuals that are issuing this statement. We see that we have the House Appropriations Committee Chairwoman, the House Administration Committee Chairwoman, the Education and Labor Committee Chairman. And you can go through each and every single one of those individuals. And all of them are the House chairs. So they issued this statement about the Problem Solvers Caucus Coronavirus Relief Bill. And they said this, while we appreciate every attempt at providing critical relief to American families, the Problem Solvers Caucus proposal fails short of what is needed to save lives and boost the economy. For over four months, now I'm going to stop right here. If you want to read this thing, I'm going to leave you the link below. But it goes on to say, basically, they don't think it's enough, the $1.5 to $2 trillion bill. Now, first off, notice this statement is not issued by Nancy Pelosi. It is issued by the House chairs. However, Nancy Pelosi does agree with this statement that she doesn't think it's enough. But they had to issue this statement, and they had to issue it the way they did. The problem that they had from the Problem Solvers Caucus is that it disrupted the negotiating power that Nancy Pelosi had. If Nancy Pelosi did not issue some sort of a statement through through the House chairs, then we would have this disagreement and the, this evolving argument in between the House Democrats, and it would be a problem. Nancy Pelosi would have to go on interviews and discuss it and explain it. So what they wanted to do is they wanted to quiet things down really quickly, say, we don't think it's enough, but it's still a problem because it's going to come up. Donald Trump is going to talk about it. Steven Mnuchin is going to talk about it. Mark Meadows is going to talk about it. Powell is going to talk about it. The media is going to talk about it. Other Republicans in the Senate and the House are going to bring it up. The Democrats are going to bring it up. It's a problem she's going to have to deal with no matter what she does. Whether or not the House chairs come out with a statement or she does, it doesn't really matter. But she had to quiet things down just a little bit because she didn't want to disrupt things too much. Doesn't mean things are over. Those people that are saying it's done, it's over. Look at this statement from the House chairs. Not the case. This needed to happen and they needed to do it immediately too. If they didn't do this statement within a couple of hours, then they would have to go on talk shows and make press statements and they don't want to do that sort of stuff. So so this is okay, very predictable. And remember what Nancy Pelosi said yesterday? She said the House is not going to leave session until another coronavirus relief package is signed and delivered. That means she's not going anywhere. And if she does, she's going to renege on her word. And that is going to be a problem for her. So there's no problem going on yet. In addition, we got some good news that came in today. This was from Donald Trump. Now, Donald Trump tweets a lot of things, but Donald Trump tweeted this, and this was was very important today. He said, Democrats are heartless. Okay. We know that he thinks Democrats are heartless. They don't want to give stimulus payments to the people who desperately need the money. I would definitely say that there should be some more uh, compromising going on here between these individuals. There's definitely politics being played right now. And whose fault it was not that the plague came from China. This is the important part. Go for the much higher numbers, Republicans. It all comes back to the USA anyway, one way or another. So Donald Trump posted out a statement that he wants the numbers for the stimulus to go higher. He's a little upset at this skinny little bill that was put out by the Senate, and he wants the numbers to go up. Make them higher. And you know who's right under Donald Trump in the negotiations? Steven Mnuchin and Mark Meadows. We said this before. There's no reason why Donald Trump 
shouldn't tell them to go up to the two trillion dollar number. No reason at all. And if Donald Trump is tweeting this, you know, he's just steps away from telling Steven Mnuchin and Mark Meadows, let's move up on the numbers. We have the Problem Solvers Caucus bill coming out now that opens up an opportunity for us to talk again. And it does. It gives everyone a chance to say we were all involved in this. So nobody gets to take the credit. Nobody looks bad. Donald Trump says he wants more money. Tell that to Steven Mnuchin. Opens up the negotiations again. This is legit. These are facts, not hype. In addition, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer issued a statement about this. They said, we are encouraged that after months of the Senate Republicans insisting on shortchanging the massive needs of the American people, President Trump is now calling on Republicans to go for much higher numbers in the next coronavirus relief package. We look forward to hearing from the president's negotiators that they will finally meet us halfway with this bill that is equal to the massive health and economic crisis gripping our nation. Now, she's using this halfway number, this $2.2 trillion. I think they can meet it around $1.8 to $2 trillion, especially with that new Problem Solvers Caucus bill, which looks really good, which they have to hush it down a little bit. Hush, hush on that. Don't don't get too crazy. We don't want to lose our negotiating power. Donald Trump saying, hey, let's go higher. He directly influences the two negotiators. Nancy Pelosi can't leave the House until a new deal is done. That's what she said. We're not leaving session until a deal is done. All of this combines to much, much higher percentages. I, I'm not 100%. Some people want the chart to come back. I heard the call. I saw the comments in the comment section. People want the chart to come back, even though the chart failed us in late July and early August. But those numbers would move up. I'm telling you right now they would move up. It doesn't mean 100%. But you couldn't ask for better alignment than this. I mean, this week, basically everyone could have stopped talking about this this week. But they didn't. So things are getting better, positive news all around. We will continue to keep you informed here with the facts, not the hype, not the finally this and the finally that. The facts is what's needed. Thank you guys for joining us. As always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you come along with me. Once again, I will catch you next time.